Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's work with the linear coupler and synchronize the movement of these three arrows with cylindrical mates. I'll start in an empty part studio, defining a variable with uh, 22 millimeters and start a sketch on the front plane. Press N, normal view to that, P, hide all planes. As I get my shortcuts, I take the center point rectangle, open it up like this. Dimension here, that A variable, and that one um, A variable times 2. Then um, draw a construction line here from the midpoint. With E, I apply an equal relationship here. Then draw one horizontal line here and connect that to that end point. Again, E for those two here. Mirror. Across that mirror line, those two, and that's it for sketching. Now let's extrude that, those two faces, with a symmetric extrusion and our variable 22. Okay, let's call this the yellow arrow and give it some yellow color. All right. I'll just, um, with the transform tool, make a copy of that. Copy part. Translate by distance. Pick that face. Give it an 88 dimension, there it is. Let's make this one the blue arrow and paint it blue. One last time for the transform copying command. Distance over here, make that 88 again, call that uh, red arrow, okay, red, all right. So that's it for the modeling part. Let's go into the assembly tab and place one mate connector right on the origin. Let's have a look at that. The Z axis is turning. It's going up. And so let's insert the yellow arrow here. Um, I double click this and get those handles here. Turn that around, and I want to take this, the midpoint of that edge, and connect that to our mate connector. So I take that cylindrical mate, get the edge, connect, apply a limit of 66, accept that. Let's have a look, animate that, all right, going down, 66 millimeters going up, great. Um, the next one is the blue arrow, and we want this in that direction, which is right now the y-axis of that mate connector. 
I'll hide the or part. I'll hide that mate connector and place the next one right on the origin. So we got a copy of that one. But now let's rotate that around the X axis with uh, 90 degrees. Accept that. And insert our blue part here. All right. And now let's take this edge here. First, I'll get into position here, like this. And like this. So, this midpoint. Cylindrical right here. There. Accept that. Um, okay, I forgot to edit the limit. 66. All right. Let's see what that does. All right. That's what we wanted. So we get these two linear movements here. And we want them to work um, now at the same time. So let's take the linear coupler here. Take cylindrical one, cylindrical two. Accept that. And animate um, it. Okay, so this is going away from us, but the yellow one is turn going up instead of down. So that's just a reverse direction edit. Have a look again here. Yes. All right. So now that red arrow needs to fit in here going in this direction, which is right now the x-axis. All right, so let's hide the yellow one, the blue one, that mate connector, and place on that origin again um, our mate connector, and rotate that one around the y-axis. So here, Y again, 98 degrees. Accept that. Insert our red arrow here. Double click that. Here. So that is the direction we want. And this is the position of our mate connector. All right, connect that. Now limits, again, 66. And we'll make it all visible here. All right, so the initial position is correct. Um, connect cylindrical two with three, and let's have a look, animating, all right, so there is a interference, we need to edit linear two, reverse that direction, now animate, And everything's perfect. You can hide that mate connector pressing K on the keyboard. Um, well, I hope you like this video. And I see you in the next one.